Welcome. What I want to do uh, today is show you how to add 3 plus a negative 5. Um, one thing you can kind of think about this though also, when we're adding a positive number to a negative number, uh, we can also rewrite this as 3 minus 5. But before I want to get into that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, kind of show you a couple different ways that we can do this. Uh, one way, you know, if we could represent 3, remember 3 is like, you know, your counting principles. If you have like 3 sticks, you have, you know, you count 1, 2, 3, there's 3 sticks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to represent this as my positive being black and my negative numbers being red. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to solve this just by kind of using a little visual identity. So let's say I had 3. I'll just use at, um, little pluses. So I had 3 pluses and I had 5 negatives. Then the next thing for you to understand is that a plus and a negative, I'll use blue here now, cancel each other out t equals 0. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to match up a plus and a negative, a black and a red, to equal 0. So I have one pair here, another pair, and another pair. And so then what you'll notice is my final answer for this is going to be negative 2. All right, so I have a positive 3 plus a negative 5 is equal to negative 2. And the same thing, if you were to rewrite this as a stretch problem, if let's say you have $3, another way to think about this, if you have $3 and you borrow five more, if you borrow $5 from somebody, now how much money do you have? Well, you could say, well, I have you know, $8. You're right, but you owe somebody else that other $5. So after you pay them back, you actually are still going to owe them an extra two more dollars. So therefore, the amount of money you have of you truly having is negative two. Um, one last way that I'll represent this is let's take a look at a number line. And hopefully you should be understood with the number line where here, you know, it gives me like one, two, three, four, five, and let's just call this direction to the right positive, and direction to the left negative. So let's pretend you walk three units to the right in positive, one, two, three, but then you walk three units to the left going negative, or I'm sorry, five units to the left, one, two, three, four, five. And again, if you look, what you see yourself as is you end up at negative 2. So there, ladies and gentlemen, I gave you one visual representation, two representations, and then also one kind of deal with money that will hope you help you understand that 3 plus a negative 5 is going to give you a negative 2. You can also just rewrite it as a subtraction problem and work from there. So there you go. Get those times to, or get those addition and subtraction problems done.